or I could even film the intro. Already got one. Nice little mirror. Literally just stuck this one out and helped my mate set up his bivvy. Might not be able to see him, but absolutely lovely fish. Let's have a quick look, real quick. Look at that. Look at that fish. Lovely little mirror. There you go. Let's get him out and I'll give you a quick look and then I'll do a proper intro. There you go, everyone. First mirror. Lovely little fish. He doesn't want to behave, unfortunately, but I'll get him up again. See if I can get one last look at him before I slip him back. Some lovely colours on his fins. Right, everyone, so now I've slipped that fish back. Uh, just thought I'd time. It's time to give you a proper intro, so here we are, Kirkin Farm, Calder Lake. Uh, I'm here with a couple of mates. Um, just using some sticky krill, two mil pellet, and a little orange wafter in a solid bag, seeing what we can catch. I've actually chose the five o'clock start for today. Um, so we'll be here till five o'clock Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna make most of my time there, get this rod back out, and I'll catch you back. I'll get back to you when uh, I'll put the rods out and actually show you what rig I'm using. Right everyone, so it's just happened again. I was gonna show you the rigs. Um, I just stuck this rod back out and literally within 10 minutes, five minutes even, it's gone again with a lovely little ghosty. Look at that. Look at the scales on that bad boy. There you go, lovely little fish. Let's get it back. Right everyone, so I've just slipped that fish back. Just thought I'd show you what I'm using. So a small avid stem. This one's just a loop-to-loop -loop one. I want that bothered about changing rigs because I know this one does it fine. Uh, I'm using a 1.5 ounce lead. Uh, some 25 pound braid. Size 8 wide gape with a little bit of um, oh, what's that called? A shrink tube. And then a bait screw with a little uh, sticky peach and peach and something, peach and something. But uh, And then you've got a little hook bead on there, a little ridge monkey hook bead holding all that on. Um, but yeah, this is what's been doing the bites. Um, very good rig, very good wafter rig. Um, yeah, let's get this back out and see if we can have another one. So we're having quite a little spell of rain here. It's not that severe, but it's quite um, drizzly. But just caught this little mirror. Actually put up a crazy fight for what it is. Even putting like a proper bend in my rod, pulling some drag here and there. But yeah, I think I'm going to get this fish back, get a coat on and recast the solid bag. As uh, this is not that nice weather, but yeah, there you go. Little orange wafter, sticky krill, bag mix. There you go, everyone, another mirror straight after. Literally, as I was bringing in the catfish rod, about to get it done again. Uh, this one ripped off. It had actually been slack for a while, so I was pretty sure there was something on there anyway. Not sure if this one made it slack, but there you go. Feisty, I think, still. Still giving the whole tail a few swings and that. But there you go. Lovely fish. It's actually pooing at the moment, which is not my favourite. Here you go everyone, nicest mirror of the day so far, I mean nicest looking one and it's got some size to it. Yeah, orange wafter again, sticky krill, bag mix, just can't be uh... Here you go everyone, third cat, 11 o'clock at night. My mate's got a fish so I'm going to have to make this one quick. But there you go, what a nice little cat. Look at that face. What a fish. Have a little night time by everyone. Orange wafters, sticky curl bag next, doing it again. Big call in this one. Right, once at about 20 pounds, 22 7, I um, thought I'd get out of bed, redo my rods as they've been in all night. But I had a double take just before I went to sleep. Um, but I've literally just stuck one out and it's come in, and I think it could be another 20 pound cat. 
not too sure. But I'm going to take out now, get your luck, and then we'll stick him back after we give him away. Very good, I've got another catfish. This one, considerably bigger than the last two, I've caught, but I'm going to get away. These things are so awkward to hold, but I mean, as you can see, but yeah, there you go. What a lovely little fish, I'll spend some time trying to get some self takes, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite difficult considering how slippy and slimy these guys are. <laughs> So make it a quick one. But yeah, nice little fish, played well. Fought well. Big fish. Some feisty common. Another orange little one. Doing a krill bag next. Still doing the business. Let's get this one back, see if we can get another. Another nice little common everyone, same method. Let's get him back and show you this other one from the double take. Second one of the double take, a nice little mirror. Get back, pop up shop, and then uh, get the rods back out. There you go, I've got a nice little ghost stick. Orange wafter again, sticky curl bag mix. Still doing it. Running out actually, I've been using that much of it. Uh, I've actually lost a fair few fish, but this is a nice ghosty to make up with it. Uh, yeah. Lovely little color. Some lovely colours on him too. The glare might be a bit bad for you guys, but it's uh, fine. Rather it's sunny than so it down with rain. Another one. Same method. There you go everyone, a nice little fully scaled mirror. Same method that's been uh, producing. Lovely mouths on these fish in there. I mean look at that. Can't go wrong with that can you? Fifth catfish everyone. Lovely little fish, look at that, smallest one probably, very slimy. Right everyone, so today's been pretty, pretty productive, we have, um, we've had quite a few fish. Uh, ever since a guy set up on the opposite side of the lake from me, um, the bites have slowed down a fair bit, I believe it's because there's more lines in the water. I think I may have popped off a catfish earlier, like it just popped off the end. Um, it's probably because I hooked it in the pads or something like around its mouth and it didn't actually penetrate well enough to be uh, caught, but yeah, we'll see how uh, the evening goes. I mean, it's probably only about three o'clock now, four o'clock, so um, yeah, I'll let you know if I get anything else. I resorted back to a spot that worked well in the um, winter for me and that was a small margin spot and uh, previous fish and this fish both resulted um, or both came from that spot uh, both on the same method that I've been using for this whole session uh, but we're going to get it back in there and see if we can have any more off that um, little spot Lovely little mirror everyone, first night time bite so far. Uh, lovely little fish though, actually one of the double takes so I'm going to get the other one out and show you but yeah, lovely little fish. Second one of the double take, a nice ghosty common, really white this one. Quite literally, 
can't keep a rod in the water this evening. Uh, this is another nice common I'm about to get out and show you. Literally can't keep a rod in the water. Quite another long common, everyone. Really nice fish, though. Let's see if we can get another one. Nice little ghosty common. Yeah, again. Stunning fish everyone, lovely dark colours on it, some white on the belly, dark red and yellow tail with a few hints of black, what a lovely little fish, imagine this at like 40 pounds, just thought I'd get it to the other side, lovely little fish. <laughs> 